today in this session we are going to discuss about the orthographic position of this object this arrow marks indicate that this is the front view this is the front view and this is your left side view because we are viewing from left and drawing on to the right side left right and in front we can see this circle and this semicircle and from side we can see this circle and semicircle and from front we can see only the flat surface of this object means we can consider this has one this has two the total surfaces we can see in front is two and the hidden lines of this hole when you are looking from in this direction left side view you can see the full circle and the semicircle and here in this manner you can see the hidden lines of the circles in this okay let's start with the views so we have to take the left side view left side view this is the front view and looking from top this is the top view so left side view falls on right as we are following for the first angle of projection if you are following third angle of projection left side falls left side front view and top would be the top view but for this problem front view top view and this would be left side view okay this would be the location of the views so let's start with the figure i'm drawing a reference line so i'll be kind of taking the front view over here top view and the left side view over here the total length of the object is 72 width is 32 and the height is 16 plus this 16 total 32 along with the height of 8 mm 8 16 and 16 that would be total 40 here first height step then we have to take the height of 16 from this point and we have to take this point center point for drawing the circle and the semi circle over here so 8 plus 16 would be total 24 from here from here we have to locate the 16 because the size of this hole is 16 sorry uh, the size of the semicircle is 16 and the diameter of this circle is 16 so gap between that would be 8 that's the center point we have created that
coming to this we have finished with this view one portion one has been finished off then we have to go for two Next we'll take 8 mm Instead of uh, taking this uh, 8 mm drawing a small circle over here we can take a pro circle also uh, where the holes are uh, already dimensioned here so we require a diameter of 16 mm means radius of 8 so we have to take this hole this is 8 mm we have to place this hole centrally or this position and we can draw the circle then uh, how to locate the center of the circle by pro circle here you can see the lines, this, this, this is, that would be same like your bullseye uh, for shooting purpose or other uh, marking purpose. This would be the reference for this because we are drawing very small circle, uh, no need of uh, taking any reference line or else uh, appropriate uh, matching of this lines onto the figure. Directly we can place it when we can see the center by appropriate method and draw the circle and we have to draw the hidden lines also over here because we have to show a circle a circular hole over here so this position the position of this point and this point is same so directly we can draw the projector lines from here to show the hidden lines of this circle This is the axis line of this hole. This is the center point of that circle. And now we can go for the top view. The width of that is 42, oh, sorry 32, so I am taking a 10mm extra from here so I can maintain a gap of uh, the figure from the reference line 10mm. So I am taking 42 over here so I can draw the line from 32. So 32 to this, the gap would be from this figure would be 10. The overall length is 72 that falls under this projector. 
and looking from top you can see the rectangle of dimension 32 by 72 and from this you can see one more rectangle the small rectangle and one more small rectangle over here this would be 8 mm as given in the figure and these are the full visible lines uh, but uh, you have to so show the hidden lines also because you have a circular hole over here and here the hidden lines of this circular holes will fall on this and this circular hole falls on here. This is the axis of this uh, circular hole and we have to show the dimension of uh, 16 diameter so I'll be taking uh, 8 from the center and from here 8 and this is also a hidden line and this is the axis line of this hole so these are the hidden lines now we have finished with the top view then we can go for a side view we have to draw the projectors from here I'm maintaining a gap of uh, 10 mm from here. Looking uh, from side, uh, you can see this structure and this structure also. But first, we are going to finish this this structure. Then we move for this. width of this is 32 I'm sorry uh, first I have to draw the projectors here you can take 45 degrees line from here this is 45 that comes exactly down to this then this you can repeat with all the things I'm sorry paper has moved a little bit
have to erase this off because paper has moved. Yeah, this would be the lines. This would be your center. The center. You got the center point over here. The last remaining thing you have to draw the the circle and the semicircle. Simply I can go with the pro circle. Actually I don't have a 16 uh, radius circle over here. The last circle present over here is a 15. Uh, so we have to go for our regular compass for drawing this. And coming to this small portion, we have to draw the hidden lines because that is hidden back of this surface. So I'm just drawing a light line. Then I'll uh, dark with the hidden lines. So that the hidden line and this is a full. Now I can draw the 16 mm hole over here. Now you can see this, uh, this matches over here. Then the small portion would be hidden. Okay, we have finished with the views over here. Then we go for the dimension.
I'll edit on the extra projection lines. This is the first reference line x1. This is x1, y1. X1, Y1 has the next reference line for getting your side view. This is radius 8. This is radius 16. The total diameter would be the 32. Here we can see the total length uh, 72, here it is 8, so this would be 8 and if we minus 8 from 72 it would be 64 over here and this would be 32 and this would be uh, 32 minus 8 that would be 24, this would be 8, 8 and the height is 16. So we have finished the, all the dimensions over here and this is the orthographic projections of this object, this object.